hello everyone so let's start with uh, to create a data factory so in this video we are going to create a data factory and uh, so if you will log into the portal.azure.com this particular screen will come now if you want to create the data factory you have to click on the search bar and you have to type a data factory once you will search the data factory this particular window will come once you will click on that this particular window will appear from here you have to create a data factory now you can see we have option of the create data factory and from here also you can create a data factory just click on this create data factory button after that it will ask a subscription and the resource group so there is two thing we always have to remember whenever we are creating any kind of the resources like data factory storage account and sql service we should have one subscription and we should have one resource group okay so subscription I have a subscription, I have a resource group I have already created. Now I have to give the name of the data factory. So I will give a data factory name as a POC data factory. It should be unique, okay? After that you have to select the reason. After that we have to select the reason where actually we want to create. And after that we have to select the version okay i am going with next so if you want to configure your github or git so you can configure from here but as of now i am clicking on this configure git later now next is networking in networking we have to connect with the public endpoint or the private endpoint that kind of the information if you want to give as of now i am going with i am giving a public endpoint clicking on the next if you want to enable an encryption you can do it from here I am going with the default and after that we have to give the name and the tag okay uh, we have to give the name and the value and uh, we have to click on the next that is review and create so if you can see here and this validation is in progress now now validation is started you can see validation passed now we have to click on this create button once you will click on this create button you can see the deployment is in progress how actually we have to check we have to click on this notification so now you can see the notification window you can see it is in progress and the deployment is in progress so let's wait it to be completed now in this particular window you can see our deployment is in progress and uh, data factory is going to be created okay so mostly in a company what actually happen is like we generally have a data factory already created and if, if the project is from the SCAR then you have to create only one or two times one will be like here for the development one is for your testing or one is for your production one okay once you will create that and uh, then mostly we actually perform a data pipeline activity that is uh, in you know whatever the data factory we have to be created okay i will show you so you can see the deployment is complete right we have to click on this go to resource button once you will click on this go to resource button this is the particular data factory which we have created we have given a name as a poc data factory one two three four five okay <clears throat> So our data factory is now created. You can see we have overview, catalog and all the buttons. Okay. Now if you want to open, uh, open a data factory studio. So you can see we have one option like open data factory studio. Just click on that. So once you will click here, this the new window will open. And this is the window where actually we will perform most of the, our data pipeline creation and all okay but uh, before that if we will see we will explore this data factory you can see you can track your activity log you can give uh, access networking management if you want to create any kind of the alert you can create from here matrix uh, we will see everything later but uh, 
as of now let's see how actually our data factory looks like okay so it is opening azure data factory we have to wait okay so this is a particular window that is coming okay this is the data factory studio and whatever the activity we have to perform we will do it here only now you can see in the left side we have option of home author monitor and the manage okay so let me click on this home button or this author button so once you will click on this author button you can see we have a pipeline data set data flow and power query so mostly whatever the data pipeline you will create you will you are going to use this particular window only here in pipeline you can see if you will click here you can create a new pipeline and all the data set you can create a data set if we can for the transformation we can do a data flow the power query and all this anyway we are we will look at this all with the practical labs with the projects now next is our monitor window in this monitor window you can monitor whatever your jobs is running and all you can create an integration runtime data flow you can create alert and matrices and all and the final is the manage here actually you can manage your integration runtime and you can configure git configuration and all but mostly you will ex you will spend your time here only in the pi pipeline and all